Yankees struggling a little bit. Do you think the White Sox can make the postseason? Jack covers the Yankees for the Yes Network. Let's jump on the Yankees. We're wondering, we might hear today on Aaron Judge, right? They yeah. make the IL. Uh, they are tied for last place. Uh, Judge is hurt and not playing. Give me your read on the Yankees so far. Well, you can talk about injuries, and injuries are a factor. They've missed Stanton. Bader hasn't played. Donaldson, who they were hoping to have a bounce back from, is on the IL. And you mentioned Judge has been out for a few days. They'll make a decision on him today. But what do managers and coaches and even players always say? Well, no one's going to feel sorry for you about the injuries. The players who have been filling in haven't been getting the job done. Heading into yesterday, the Yankees had eight players who played fairly regularly, whose OPS plus was 80 or below. Mm -hmm. So that's eight players who are 20% below average than league average. And I just think it's been a struggle. Their bullpen heading into yesterday had the best ERA in the major leagues. Mm. Cole's been good. Cortez had a hiccup yesterday, but he's been fairly good. Guys, they're 6-0 in the games that Cole starts. They're 9-14. In the games where everybody else starts. You know, we just had the weighted runs created plus up there too, which is like an OPS plus. It arrives basically in the same spot. And like when you have the middle, Bo, I was looking at him yesterday. The middle, you anyway, hey, Rizzo, LeMahieu, Torres, that's pretty good, but they're not now, and, and Rizzo's having a good year, but they're not in the bottom of the lineup. They're in the middle of the lineup. And when they don't have, you know what, I don't miss Stanton because I'm used to Stanton not being in there. But when you don't have Judge and you don't have Judge Stanton, that's a lot of bulk that is not there in the lineup. Yes, when you look at the Yankees and the fall of the Yankees last year, when it was the Aaron Judge show and you get the home run from Judge or there was really not too much offense, I don't think the Yankees did a good enough job building their offense for this season. When you start to look at this team, they needed to go out and make some significant changes. Maybe Donaldson was not even the right person to start the season as their third baseman. Mm -hmm. So when I look at this team, yes, there is a depth problem as far as having quality guys coming behind guys that have injury time, but they're going to have to show up this offense some kind of way. You did a pie chart, Bo. I like this. So this is now the payroll br br breakdown. But it, it's top heavy. Look, you can only have so many aircraft carriers. That's kind of the point, right? Yes. And now Judge, you, I, I believe, Jack, they had to bring Judge back. But that's a big percentage when you already have Stanton and Donaldson. Yes, and when you look at this pie chart, these are the players in which they are expecting to carry their offense. And when you start to look at Judge, who is probably going to end up on the IL, Stanton's already on the IL, Donaldson has, has not been a good player even last year he wasn't a good player Rizzo is kind of the constant that you're getting LeMahieu's missed time and Hicks has completely fallen off a cliff so when you start to look at that pie chart and this is where you are expecting to get your right. offensive production it's just not going to happen yeah they're too reliant on Judge I mean he carried them last year at yeah. 1300 OPS in the second half last year and they were basically an average team with him having a 1300 OPS do you remember the first two months of the season of course you do we were talking, we were putting them up there with 98 Yankees, run differential, 39 Yankees, 27. They were the best team in baseball for a, a two-month period. Yeah. I think it was 61 and 23 was the start, which is an start. incredible yeah. start. This was 61 and 20, so it, it right. shows you how great a start that was. But I agree with what Bo and John are saying, and I think the thing that happened with Donaldson was that contract is already a sunk cost. So in their mind, it was, let's see what we can get out of Donaldson. Yeah. They have Hicks on the hook for three more years. Let's see what we can get out of Hooks, Hicks. And, and they haven't gotten anything out of either of those players. Right, right. I thought in the offseason they, they could have used another guy who put the ball in play. It's a, it, it's a yeah. team that has a lot of swing and miss. Yeah. And I thought they could have used well, somebody, they, a Brantley type, somebody they, who they put the ball in play. They did try for They did. He got that great deal, as yep. Brian alluded to, with the White Sox. <laughs> couldn't turn that down. <laughs> he did. Yeah, it's well, an, he, he it's couldn't. an offer I couldn't I refuse. That's what he told me. It's an offer I couldn't refuse. And you got that quote right away. <laughs>